Hey, Tom Shaka here. Let's talk about poison ivy today. I was hiking recently, and I was walking down a narrow trail, and I saw a whole bunch of poison ivy kind of creeping onto the trail, and thinking, this is how people get it all the time. I, I don't think most people can identify it. So I want to try and help you today learn what poison ivy looks like. This is poison ivy right here. Now you can see there's different colors of it, and there's actually something mixed in with it too. Um, but now this is not poison ivy. So if you look at the leaves, oftentimes they look like a mitten. On this one side you have the one jut, and this side you have several um, pieces jutting out. Um, so that's kind of what poison ivy looks like. Three leaves, but there's lots of plants with three leaves. And again, this is a tree right here. So kind of maybe pause that and look at the leaf, look at the structure, look at the different colors, and maybe try and help identify what it is. And I want to show you something over here too. A lot of people will see this plant, even though there's five leaves, they say, hey, that looks like poison ivy but this is called Virginia creeper. So you can see the difference in the structure of these leaves. There's um, tooths, uh, tooths? <laughs> there, it's toothed on both sides of the leaf as opposed to, for the most part, the poison ivy here. It's got one tooth jutting out, maybe two. So kind of look at the structure of that. Then over here, I'm gonna stand up and look at some plants over here. Now climbing up this tree, I think it's interesting, we have poison ivy right here, and you can see the leaf structure. Like this leaf right here, I don't know if you're getting close enough to that, but this side is smooth, this side is toothed. This side, both sides are smooth. This leaf right here is smooth and then toothed on the other side. Now this is a vine growing right, right with it, and this is a grape, a wild grape. You see the, uh, the leaves are not the same. Let's get those right next to it. They're a similar look if you don't no leaves that well. But another good thing to do too is find a patch of poison ivy somewhere and watch it throughout the year, the whole year. Go visit it and throughout the year it'll change colors, it'll change sizes, and it'll, it'll give you a great perspective. Within one year you'll become a poison ivy expert. Highly recommend you do that. Find some poison ivy and watch it throughout the year. Hope you learned something. Hope you had fun. I sure did. Thanks, Camping Survival. Have a great day.